This is Gold Cobra and welcome to the Cobra's Den. Today we're going to talk about how addictive stacking gold and silver is. Hey guys, welcome back to the Cobra's Den and this is Gold Cobra. So it's been about a week or so since I was with you guys last and uh, I was out on the road, I came home and I found a load of packages at my doorstep. As if by magic they just appeared. Uh, maybe not. I don't know, finding it very addictive like a lot of people said you would and you've got to be careful that you don't overdo it. So while I was out on the road, kept checking on the Silver Forum, the Royal Mail, uh, Royal uh, Mint, Shards, Atkinsons, and I uh, don't know, my fingers just like automatically moved and things were getting ordered. So we're gonna go through what we ordered this week and what I came back home to. And there's a couple of nice coins which are spinning around there, which I'll get to in a bit. But first, let's introduce you to the new characters of today. So at the back, we've got a new bodyguard. This is Gaz the Gorilla, uh, big old beast he is. And over here, we have uh, the Bouncer. We're not gonna name him, he stays as he is. And then of course, we have the Cobra coin here, and we are gonna name him tonight. He has now got a name. But let's start with what we've got this week and what is going to happen with the collections. So we start off with this maple, a beautiful coin, as usual. Oh, hang on, we're not focusing in right there. Um, now the maple is from the Canadian Mint and it is a lovely coin. This is their standard coin of Canada. Uh, they come in gold and silver. Uh, obviously, this is the silver one. And it came up on the silver forum. And it was something I thought, well, you know, it's one of the main mints. I do really want one. Um, and so I grabbed it. And from the same gentleman, uh, picked up this Luna. I think it's from series one, but I've got to check this, so don't take uh, my word on it. Uh, Year of the Sheep, though when I was ordering it, I did put Year of the Goat, because it looked like a bit of a goat to me, not a sheep. Uh, but there you go, that's the Year of the Sheep. Um, I don't think I'm gonna collect these coins. Doesn't really do much for me, but it's an ounce of silver all the same, so either way, it goes into the stack. And then we also picked up a 2015 Britannia. So if you watched the previous videos, I bought a whole uh, tube of the 2023 Queen's uh, Head Britannia. Um, so this one came up, part of the set of three, so I decided to grab it. But this is where the problems began. So. The Lunar Year of the Dragon Series 2 2 ounce silver coin. Now I find these absolutely stunning. Um, beautiful coins. And this is where the addiction comes in and this is where the problem comes in. So these Lunar coins I find absolutely stunning. The two ounces are a beautiful size. Um, so I bought that dragon because I love dragons and then I decided that I had to get more. So, I also got hold of the Year of the Rabbit. Um, again, these coins are an amazing size, two ounces, absolutely beautiful. All right, rabbit is probably not the most, uh, you know, fierce animal, but it's part of the Lunar series. And I also managed to pick up the Year of the Tiger. Um, and again, I do love this coin. 
trouble is now I've got at least 12 of these to collect, so there's three. You've got the pig, the monkey, the snake. Uh, so now I've got to look for them and backtrack and backsource all these coins. Now this is where the problem comes in. If you find a coin that you like like that and it's part of a series, uh, a 12 coin series, you then feel like you've got to collect the lot. Do you? Uh, not really. They're bullion coins, you could just have them as bullion, but they are stunning coins. And uh, yeah, uh, I don't know. It's not working out for me in that way. I'm trying to be careful. And the problem is as a new stacker, um, you know, the warnings do go out from other people who've been stacking a long time. Look, be careful, set yourself a budget. And I've said it in my other videos, um, but I'm just not controlling it very well. But the main coin for me that came in this week um, was the 2023 Type 2 Britannia. And this one is the first Britannia with King Charles on it. And so obviously this had to be got. Um, I love the Britannias. I think they're absolutely great coins. Um, I have them in gold. I've ordered two gold one ounce um, Type 2s with King Charles on them. Um, and if you want to compare it, let's get this one. So obviously this is the 2023 with Queen Elizabeth. And side by side. Oh, hang on. Don't think I'm going to be able to hold these like that. There you go. Queen Elizabeth and King Charles. And both of these are 2023s. So I don't think there has been two 2020 or, or two, two uh, Britannias in one year um, ever. In fact, I'm sure there hasn't because obviously uh, we've only had the Queen. Um, but now we have two 2023 Britannias in this year. Uh, whether that will make it any more valuable in the future or not, I don't know. It's quite possible. I suppose it depends on the mintage of the Queen Elizabeth coin. Um, and we'll have to see when they finish it what the actual total mintage is and see if it gives it any value. But when I bought these uh, with the King Charles, I bought 25 of them in a tube. Uh, I did the same with the Queens uh, 2023. So now I have 25 of each. I have displayed them out like this, but I will show you in a bit that I am gonna put them in capsules. Uh, now a lot of people will probably say to you, you don't need to put them in capsules, they're just bullion, it doesn't really matter. But again, I personally want to keep them really nice. If I had a choice of buying a Britannia and one was scratched up and one was immaculate, I'd want the immaculate one. And also this week I purchased two sovereigns. One being a 2015, uh, really nice example of it. Um, beautiful coin, very clean. And again, that was bought from the Silver Forum. So I keep mentioning them, they are very good. And the other was a 2020. Um, now sovereigns are extremely liquid. They're a great coin. Um, compared obviously to the one ounce, they don't cost as much, which gives everyone the opportunity to buy gold. And with the price of gold being at near enough the all-time high that it's been at. Um, fractional gold or sovereigns even are worth having in your stack. Make sure that you have got some fractional gold. I know the premiums are a bit higher, uh, but it's still worth having. You don't want to change up one ounce gold pieces if you desperately need cash. Um, and to me, they're personally very nice to have. As I've got these Britannias out of capsules at the moment, um, I'll show you one there. Great security measures on these. Um, the wavy lines in the background, the little holographic bit down there. Um, and there's our new King, King Charles. 
Now a lot of people talk about these coins and they worry about milk spots and all that lot. Uh, yeah, it's quite possible there are milk spots on it. I have to check these carefully and I'm probably not in the best light to do that. Um, but still, I love these coins. They are bullion coins, so I'm happy with them. And all of these Britannias I'll be putting in these capsules. And you get these little foam inserts that go into them and adjust to the size of the coin. So that's what's gonna to happen to all of these now. Um, and then, as I say, 25 type one and 25 type two Britannias will be encapsulated. So here's the question. Is it a problem buying this much in a week? Look, it all depends on your finances. It all depends on how you're set up. Um, even I think I might be buying a bit too quick at the moment, and I probably am. But I'm very lucky and in the fortunate situation that I can afford to do that at the moment. Things may change. <clears throat> Things are getting tight. We're in a recession. But if you can afford to and that's what you want to do, that's fine. But please make sure that you're not putting yourself in debt to do this. Um, for me, I'm saving my money through this and that's what I feel comfortable with. So, getting on to our Cobra coin, which we have talked about in several videos now. Uh, this little Cobra will be joining us every week uh, in our videos. And out of the names that were suggested, um, Moving on from the program of Cobra Kai, one of our uh, watchers suggested Cobra Kyle, and I quite like that. So there you go, that is Cobra Kyle. And he's with us in every video. So there you go guys, that's today's video. Um, let me know, are you a new stacker? Are you finding that you're doing the same sort of thing as me and stacking at a very fast rate? Have you become addicted to it? Do you think that's gonna be a problem for you? Um, or do you think you can manage it? Let me know in the comments below. And for all of you that are still watching, I wanna thank you very much. Our subscriptions are going up slowly. I might be thinking about doing a little prize thing for when we hit 1,000 subscriptions. Um, and I'll let you know on that. Watch the next video and I'll have a little suggestion of how we're gonna do that. But as I say, I wanna thank you all very much for your support. Uh, please like, comment, and share. Um, and the boxes will be coming up here, or here, or here, or somewhere on the screen. Um, and a little Cobra where you can subscribe. And again, thank you very much. And it's goodbye from the Cobra's Den.